okay, okay. So basically, for I was like the Slack message. So it all started when Aiden, um, Aiden Gomez, he just sent a message on Slack in the University of Toronto Computer Science Slack group about like I have this idea. I want to do a project on some machine translation work, and people who are interested are welcome to join. And I remember there's like maybe twelve, fifteen of us came out in the first meeting. And then he just gave us like a small task, and he put us through this like Hunger Games trial where we all had to complete this like TensorFlow tutorial. At the time, I never even wrote a line of like TensorFlow in my life, so um, I just remember I actually stayed up like all night doing the challenge, not because I was worried about submitting it on time, but it's more just like out of pure curiosity and interest.、Um, and I found myself like. Yeah, being pretty surprised that I would be this interested in something I barely knew about.、Um, so I think that was like very inspiring. After he filtered that out, we met up in this actual room, and this was me sneaking a picture of that meeting. <laughs> I, I feel like I would want to remember this one day. Yeah, that led to the first research、uh, research project I've ever done, and there was an article written by the university about this project. Um, there's a there's a picture of us.、Uh, let me show you. Yeah. So when we our first paper, we like, I, I almost didn't even believe it, but like our first paper, it was accepted into ICLR, and not only was it accepted as a as a poster, it won like it was like the top twenty best papers at the conference or something. It was like, oh my god, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, we were just a bunch of kids, like we were a bunch of undergrads, you know, doing this. On the side, like it didn't feel like we belong, you know. Like when I was at LCR, I was like, I had like such immense imposter syndrome. You know, I was in this poster hall with all these like crazy PhD people. I'm supposed to like answer questions about this paper. Like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> yeah, I think I think after that conference, it was like,、uh, it's like, damn, like this is like a real field, you know? Like not like a like, we, we can actually do this. <laughs> And then. After that project, we decide to, you know, continue this work, and then maybe we can invite more people, especially people who are in the undergrad or don't have much、um, research experience, to work together. And that's when we created Toy AI. I think earliest memories was, I think it was me, Sid, Aiden, and Ivan.、Um, we just sit in this little WeWork room and、um, work on. Like whatever research project that we had at the time. At the time, TPUs were also relatively new, so I remember all the days we spent debugging those those horrible things. <laughs> But yeah, I just really enjoyed those those like days when I was an undergrad,、um, and I was just trying to learn how to do research. It was my intro into research. I never had any research experience in the past. I never thought about research to begin with. So yeah, everything was very new to me,、uh, very fresh, and I quite enjoyed it. I mean, so much so that I switched my, you know, entire career path, and now I'm doing my PhD and so on. So hopefully, I don't regret in the future. But yeah, so far so good. And it got me started with ML research as well, which is something I continue to do every day.、Um, and yeah, obviously, ended up、um, making some of the greatest friends of my life through Core AI. I don't think I've seen anything similar to what we created back then. Yeah, I think it's just very welcoming. I guess less intimidating、uh, to get into the field when everyone you know is or are in the same boat as you. It just felt like you belong somewhere, and people care about your progress and your learning.、Um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's just something I really liked. <laughs> I think it was just like irrational dedication to something. <laughs> just like. Just like I think we were all weirdly motivated to work on this project, but I, like it's not like we were getting paid. Like most people already had full time jobs, and then they're like doing this on top of it,、um, and like pretty dedicated as well. So I think that that just like was really motivating for me to to do the same and to stay committed to something, and mostly to stay committed to learning and developing more skills, because you could never have enough as a researcher. I think the best advice I've ever given to anyone is just like, 
invest in your like workbench, you know, like make sure you you can actually make mistakes really easily and then like figure out what, what went wrong and then like repeat the experiment again and again and again. Um, so I'd say like invest a lot in your tooling because ultimately that, that decides how fast you're learning and how fast you're getting better at, at this field. Yeah. I would say just like explore a lot. I think it's very easy to optimize for one thing and, and have some goal and be like, I'm going to ignore everything and only you know, work on this. But I think having breadth of experience and like not being afraid to fail um, and to struggle, I think it's like really important, especially as a researcher, because I think most things don't work on your first try or at all sometimes. I think for many of us, in the original crew, we got to where we are, other researcher industry, mostly because of other project or connection we made in this group. So one of my advice for the existing member of newcomers for this, in this group in particular, is to utilize the connection we have within this group. I think people in general are pretty low ego. Um, <laughs> and I think that, that helps a lot because like it's, it's kind of a privilege, I think, to have opportunities, um, especially if you came from like a really good school or like had a lot of resources at your disposal. Um, I think many of 4AI's members might not have come from like, you know, American schools, um, mostly international. And I think having a lot of people from different backgrounds, like all very curious about one thing together is what kind of drove the community. I definitely want to scale this access to opportunity that I had the uh, fortune of being able to take advantage of, right? Like, you know, I, I dropped out of school. I've never been like academically inclined, really. Like my parents don't work in academia. So there was like really no way for me to break in, right? And so, uh, I felt like, I feel like that is such an important opportunity to have for people who just want to work really hard and, you know, make something of themselves in this field. Um, so I, I'm hoping to provide, to like sort of pay it forward in a sense. Yeah, I'm like really grateful that I happened to come across for AI.